How did Bella Hadid's spray on dress work? Bella Hadid recently stole the show at the 2022 Paris Fashion Week. Hadid was dressed by Fabricants' spray on fabric during the Corpani Fashion Show in Paris. In this video, we take a look at her look on the runway and explain the science behind her spray on dress. Stay tuned. This week, the Paris Fashion Week was all a buzz as Bella Hadid closed French label Corpani's Spring Summer 2023 show with a dress that was sprayed on in front of a live audience. The supermodel walked onto the runway wearing nothing but nude underwear before Manuel Torres, the creator of the patent spray-on technology Fabrican, and two scientists applied a misty liquid that transformed almost instantly into a wearable material. What's more is that after the application's process, a woman clad in all black used her hands to manipulate two patches of the paint into off-shoulder sleeves and used scissors to cut a slit from the bottom. The dress moved with Hadid's body like regular fitted fabric as she walked down the runway. Talk about fashion. So what exactly is this new spray-on dress technology? Is this some sort of magic trick? Well, this instantaneously materialized dress is not a magic trick, but a testament to innovations in material science more than two decades in the making. Manuel Torres, the man behind the creations, created the substance used on Hadid, Fabrican, back in 2003. Fabrican presumably means a portamento of the phrase fabric in a can. Liquid fabric, often known as spray-on fabric, is a combination of additives and polymers. Torres claims that when sprayed, it transforms into a non-woven material by combining liquid polymers with natural and synthetic fibers in an aerosol can. According to the manufacturer, the fabric is created by cross-linking fibers that stay together and create a second skin when sprayed on an individual or an object. Liquid fabric from Fabricant is defined as a homogeneous solution of fibers, a binder, and at least one diluent in its patent application. It is necessary for the fibers to be sufficiently tiny to pass through the spray can. A liquid, typically an organic solvent like acetone or water, serves as the diluent. But what exactly was his inspirations behind this? You see, Torres earned his bachelor's fashion design degree in Barcelona before relocating to London to attend the Royal College of Art. He found the procedure of finding patterns, sourcing fabric, and fitting it to make a dress to be excessively time-consuming during his postgraduate studies. He was trying to think of a way to speed up the process of making a dress. His inspirations for the instant fabric he produced originated from silly strings and spider webs. His idea was to elevate the coarse quartz of the silly string into a finer fabric that could be dispersed through a mist. Torres explained in a 2013 TED Talk that when this spray-on fabric comes in contact with air, it turns into a solid material that's stretchy and feels like suede. According to the patents granted to the company, the liquid fabric is made up of a suspension of liquid polymers, additives, binders like natural latex, cross-linked natural and synthetic fibers, and a fast evaporating solvent like acetone. The fibers can be polyester, polypropylene, cotton, linen, or wool. Torres added that they can easily form the material around 3D molds or patterns and tweak the textures, so they can get something that's fleece-like, paper-like, lace-like, or rubber-like. He imagined that people could go into a booth, customize their dress, and instantly have it 3D printed onto their bodies. The spray could even be used for spot repairs on existing clothing. That sounds pretty interesting, doesn't it? The display at the Corporate Show comes at an interesting time for the fashion industry as major companies have been forced to reckon with the environmental consequences of textile productions and ever-shifting styles. In response, many designers are now looking for less harmful starting materials in plant-based fabrics like seaweed, which is also being investigated as a plastic film substitute and surprisingly mushrooms. For its part, Fabricant states on its website that it uses fibers recycled from discarded clothes and other fabrics. The technology can also utilize biodegradable fibers and binders in place of fossil-based polymers to reduce the carbon footprint of material and manufacturing. Additionally, the company said that at the end of their useful life, sprayed fabrics can be redissolved and sprayed anew. Taurus's vision for Fabricant has long extended beyond just the fashion industry. Since it's in a can, the material is sterilized which makes it suitable for wound dressing and instant bandages. Using sprays and 3D printed polymers to seal injured skin is not a unique idea in the biomedical field. Companies such as Nanomatic have also been developing a portable device that shoots out nanofibers to make a protective film atop a wound. Furthermore, Taurus has said that they can switch up the formulations of the mix to produce casts for broken arms or foam seats for cars. The future of textiles and clothing is quite interesting. 
Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you for watching.